Yes, God, we adore you. We adore you, God. And God, for those of us in the room tonight who feel like the embers of our hearts have been low, for those of us who feel like we've been at the end of our rope, God, you're going to revive that fire tonight. God, you're going to revive, you're going to revive that love in our hearts tonight, God. So Holy Spirit, blow. Holy Spirit, move tonight. And God, make that flame a big flame. God, make that flame a big flame in our hearts again tonight, God. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. So tonight we'll be doing a word watch. I encourage you to open up your Bibles to Isaiah 61, uh, verses 1 through 4. And uh, my prayer is that God would illuminate the Word of God to you tonight, and that we would go deep into the Word. So Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Father, cause us, your sons and daughters, to see the poor, to see the brokenhearted, and to see the captives. Open our eyes to see those who are hurting, those who are drowning in darkness. Cause us not to overlook our neighbor. Overwhelm our hearts with love and compassion. Lord, you've, you've anointed us so that the broken and hurting can experience your powerful love. I declare that the Spirit of the Lord is on us to love powerfully, to love boldly, and to love deeply. I declare that here in this nation, we, your church, will be the ones to release the prisoners, to free the captives, to bring healing to the broken, to, def to befriend the orphan, to serve the widow, to embrace the prostitute, and to share the gospel with the homeless man on the street. Say 
set me free to go. Yes, you set me free to go. You've anointed me to go. The good news of Jesus, the good news of Jesus, oh, you've set me free to go, you've set me free to go, bring good news, the news of freedom, the news of freedom, the freedom that I The freedom I can bring, the freedom I can bring, for oh, the freedom that I walk in, the freedom that I walk in, is the freedom that I bring, it's the freedom that I bring, I will the freedom, bring freedom that I walk in, the freedom that I walk in, is the freedom that I bring. Freedom that I bring, the freedom that I walk in, the freedom that I walk in is the freedom that I bring. Yeah. You set me free. Oh, I'm free. You set me free. We are free. You set me free. Oh, you set me free. And you set us free. Oh, you set us free. And you set. You set us free because the Lord has anointed me. I can go out, I can be free to release good news, to release the same free. your heart give us your eyes give us your hands oh to go out to see where there is need for freedom open our eyes God open our eyes open our eyes Bring 
freedom to the captives. Open our eyes, open our hearts, open our eyes, Lord, open. within ourselves oh open our hearts and open our eyes oh and open our hearts to be the change to be the free
give in to my fears The fears that have held me back The fears that have kept me silent far too long Isaiah 61, verse 2. To proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all who mourn. To grant to those who mourn in Zion. Lord, you are a God who showers blessing and favor upon the righteous, and you are a God who will punish the wicked. And for those who have experienced injustice, it's comforting to know that you, Father, will one day make every wrong right. To those who've been abused, abandoned, forgotten, orphaned, beaten, persecuted, and even died, you have seen their suffering and you have heard their cry. And your heart burns for justice, Father. As we share your love with the poor and the broken in this nation, cause us to be unashamed of who you are as a God of favor and a God of justice. Cause your church to be the chief advocates for the poor the prostitutes, the orphans, the widows, the elderly, and the, North, and the North Korean refugees. Expand our hearts to love those who have faced injustice. Cause your church to invest itself in outreach efforts to love those on the fringe of Korean society.
forgotten them.
eternity. So we await the day of vengeance when you reclaim all things as your own. When you you turn all things around every wrong every wrong will be made right forever never to be undone again forever justice will be forever forever never to be undone Give 
up your heart every chamber every room I want to see I want to know I want to know your heart oh God take journey to the depths of your heart oh I'm not scared I'm not afraid of what I'll see I'm not afraid of what I'll hear oh take me into the depths of your heart Vast 
just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Although the world may overlook or condemn the poor and broken, you've given them a new identity, Father. I ask that as the church invests itself in outreach efforts, that the poor and broken would discover the riches that they have in Christ. No longer are they beyond repair. They are healed. No longer are they poor. They are royalty. No longer are they defeated, they are victorious. No longer are they ashamed, they reflect your glory. I ask for the Spirit of the Lord to be upon the church's outreach ministry in this nation so that the poor and the broken would step into the new identity that Christ won for them on the cross.
rooted in you, in your truth, in what you say over me, and who you say I am. I can't be moved. shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Father, the poor and the broken will be the ones to rebuild this nation. You are the God of redemption, and your plan is to see the poor and broken built up so that they can take part in building up this nation. When the DMZ comes down and North and South Korea are reunited, 
the ones that were on the fringe will be the leaders in reunification. They will be the ones to unite the cultures, economies, and histories of North and South Korea. They will be the ones to create programs and laws that will make this nation one. They will undo strongholds that held this nation captive for generations. And they will be the ones to make sure that the injustices of the past remain in the past. They will be the ones to pave the way for a new future for Korea.
Father, we ask that tonight that you would give us your heart. That, God, you would give us your heart. That, God, we would cry out for it. That, God, we would yearn for it. That, God, we would desire it. I ask that tonight that, God, we would want more of your heart. That, God, we wouldn't be satisfied. That, God, we would want more of your heart. And that, God, we would ask for it. That we would seek it. I ask that tonight that as we pray, I ask that, Lord, you would give us more of your heart, that you would deposit more of who you are in us, and that, God, that flame in us would grow, that passion, that zeal for who you are, God, would grow in our hearts tonight. 
Holy Spirit, I pray that you would blow in this place, that you would move, that God, you would set us ablaze. God, we think that we're on fire, but I pray that God, you would make us more on fire, Lord. We need more of you, and I pray that God, you would pour out your spirit tonight, especially as we intercede, God. I ask that you would pour out your spirit, Lord. Yes, God, God, we need you to pray. God, we need you to pray. God, I need you to pray. God, pour out your spirit tonight. Yeah. Uh, now we will be transitioning into a time of intercession. And tonight, we're going to cry out for justice. We're going to cry out for justice in North Korea. And I want to encourage you to do what you got to do to engage with God's heart for justice. If that means get up, if that means move around, if that means to sway, if that means to get on your knees, I encourage you to do what you need to do to engage with God's heart for justice, but don't miss it because God's gonna pour it out tonight. Don't miss it because God's gonna give you a heart tonight for justice if you ask for it, if you seek it. Yeah. So let's go for it. There's freedom in this place. Let's go for it tonight, guys. Let's go for it. So I'm gonna pray, and after I pray, I encourage you to lift up your own intercession. Yes, God. God, it says that your throne, that your throne is established and righteousness and justice, that righteousness and justice is the foundation of your throne. And Lord, I believe it. Lord, I believe it. I believe that you love justice, that your heart burns for justice and that your heart burns to see justice in North Korea. God, you see the injustices that happen in that nation. You see how a whole nation of people have been brainwashed to idolize and worship the Kim regime, to worship a man. And God, it breaks your heart. God, you see that a whole nation has been deceived and that a whole nation is oppressed and living in fear. And it breaks your heart, God. It breaks your heart, God. I just prophesy Isaiah 61 over the nation, over the nation of North Korea. And I just declare that you are gonna set the captives free, that you are gonna open their eyes and they're gonna see, that the blind will see the truth, that they will see you, God. There will be a day where they will tear down their idols and they will repent. They will turn back to you, God. I just declare that in Jesus' name, I just declare that there's gonna be a day when every idol comes down in that nation and where they declare the name of the Lord. I just declare that the fear of the Lord is coming upon the nation of North Korea, that they will know you, that they will seek you, and that they will find you, God. I just declare that in Jesus' name. And I declare that, God, there will be recompense for every injustice that's been incurred upon the people in that nation. That, God, nothing has, has avoided your eye. You've seen everything, God. You've seen everything, God. Yes, God, open up their hearts. Let them see the truth. Let's pray.
Lord, you truly do set the prisoners free. Yes. And Lord, you do lift up those who are bowed down. We ask that you would set those free who are currently in the prison camps in North Korea. God, you are a God of the impossible. And with your mighty arm, you can save your people. You are a God who separated the sea and delivered your people from slavery and destroyed their oppressors. Father, do the same in even greater miracles in North Korea. Father, I prophesy and I release hope over those who feel like they have none. For those who feel like there's no way out, I break off the spirit of despair and I release hope over their hearts and minds. I declare that all those who feel like they're lost, God, that you would restore them. Father, deliver them out of the hands of their oppressors. Destroy their enemies and restore their hope. Let's pray. We 
orphans live in the street that there is no home for them that there is nothing for them um, but God you see them and God you love them and your heart is broken that God there are orphans all over North Korea who are not being cared for and who have to fend for themselves father I just release your powerful love over these orphans. I release your supernatural love over these orphans. And I pray that God, that you would bring healing, that you would bring restoration, that Father, you would encounter them with your love. Yes, um, I pray God for Christians in North Korea, God, to find favor with the government and to be able to adopt and care for these orphans in the streets. Yes, God, I pray for these orphans that you would establish them and put them in homes where they are loved, where they are cared for. Yes. And Lord, I pray that when the DMZ opens, I ask that, God, you would send your people into North Korea to establish orphanages and programs and laws that would defend the rights of these orphans. Yes, I ask, God, for grace for favor, God, over these Christians, God, to love these kids and to be able to do the kingdom work in North Korea. Father, protect these children from wicked people who would seek to take advantage of them, who would seek to try to sell them into the sex industry. I just declare that, God, you are their refuge and you are their protection. God, keep them safe, protect them, and God, cause them to be wise. Yes, Lord. God, you are for the orphans in North Korea. You love them. Let's pray. Father, I declare your protection over North Korean refugees. I declare that your angels will go before them and will protect them from harm. Lord, cause evildoers to overlook them and prevent those evildo evildoers from harming these refugees, God. Um, 
Open the eyes of the righteous, God, and cause the righteous to see them, to reach out to them, to love them, to house them, to feed them, to clothe them, God. I pray that, God, that you would, uh, God, cause these refugees, God, to come across uh, Christians who would love them, who would pour into them, God. And God, I just pray for government leaders in South Korea and in China and other surrounding nations. God, I pray for their hearts and I pray that God, you would move on their hearts, God, to create legislation and programs that would truly protect and empower these refugees. That wouldn't just treat them like lesser citizens, but God, treat them as they deserve to be treated, God. I ask that God, South Korea, that the government would, would not be passive and would eagerly protect the rights of these North Korean refugees. Yes, God. And I just pray, God, for those who are currently in sex trafficking, that God, you know, often, God, these uh, refugees are prime targets, God, for the sex industry. God, I pray for those who are currently in the sex industry. And God, I just prophesy freedom. I prophesy hope over them. I just declare that, God, that you are going to free a generation of men and women who've been abused and put in that system, God, that you are going to free them. That, God, you are going to free them. That, God, they're going to be set free. And God, I just pray that you would put these people, God, put these refugees, God, in homes where they can be re rehabilitated and loved and nursed back to health, God. I just pray that, Lord, that you would, uh, God, that you would uh, make a way, God, for these refugees who are in the sex industry to get out and to stay out, God. Yes. Let's pray. God, you are a God of justice. And God, your heart burns to see the oppressed set free, to see the poor receive the gospel. God, to see those who are in the sex industry freed once and for all. God, to see the orphan brought into homes and brought up and loved and fathered, God. That is your heart. And God, you will make it happen. There's gonna be a day when you come back and you make everything right. But even before then, God, you want to see justice on the earth. You want to see things made right now. And I pray that, God, in the coming years, that soon that we would see justice in North Korea. We thank you that, God, you are faithful. We thank you that, God, you are true to your word. 
that God, you are dependable and you are trustworthy. And God, we know that you will bring our prayers to pass. Thank you, God, that you are faithful. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us um, as we meditated on uh, the word and, and interceded for North Korea. Um, I hope that you were blessed and really did receive more of God's heart today. Um, and yeah, we encourage you to keep pressing in, keep asking for more of God's heart um, because yeah, each time he has more, each time he has more to give. So next week, we will continue our watches as usual. Uh, Wednesday morning, we have a watch at 9.30 a.m. and um, again, Thursday evening at 8 p.m. But in addition to that, uh, we have actually a monthly meeting that we uh, just started last month called K1 Cafe. And it's a time of teaching and of fellowship. Uh, so each month, we have a different topic. And uh, this month's topic will be intimacy with God. So we invite you all and encourage you all to come out. It's open to everybody, open to the public. And it will be held not in this sanctuary space, but uh, downstairs on the fourth floor of this building. 